If you read about the experiences of people dating borderlines and narcissists, you will quickly realize a common pattern. Most people have been cheated on, sometimes in the most vile ways possible. Sometimes it's emotional cheating. Either way, there is always some kind of cheating when we talk about BPD and MPD. And here is why. As I mentioned in the intro, it's quite scary to see how many people who have dated BPDs and MPDs have been cheated on. There's undoubtedly, I think, a common thread. And what are the reasons for this happening? Why do all, well, let's say at least most borderlines and narcissists end up cheating? And the first reason I will touch upon is revenge. BPD and MPD are spiteful people. When they hurt, they want to protect it. When they, sorry, when they feel hurt, they want to protect themselves. And often how they protect themselves is hurting back. And that's fair enough. It's not the most natural, the most mature way of dealing with issues, hurting back. But I can kind of understand why someone would do it. If someone cheated on me, I don't think it's right, but I think it's okay-ish to cheat back. Of course, it's not the mature thing to do and you should leave. But I can kind of understand the reasoning. By the way, this has never happened. I'm, I'm just using it as an example. So I can kind of understand why a BPD or an MPD would cheat if they feel like someone has cheated on them. But the problem is that often the reason that they cheat is totally imagined. Let me give you an example and probably one that will resonate with many of you. By the way, if you can drop a like, I really appreciate that. So let's imagine you go out to a party with some friends from your old college or from your old work, people that you haven't seen in quite a few years. And it's a mixed group, meaning there are people from the opposite sex or the same sex, if that's what you're into. <laughs> And this is a, a social evening and you're enjoying your time with them. You know, people are generally happy and uh, catching up on old times. And throughout the evening, uh, a friend, at some point in the evening, a friend decides to take a group picture. So you all stand up in a row, as you usually do in a group picture, maybe around the dinner table. And you happen to randomly be next to someone of the opposite sex, let's say, just to keep things simple, <laughs> male or female. And as you usually do in group pictures, you put your arm behind this other person. And the friend takes the picture and then decides to upload it on their social media to their stories, for instance, if we're talking about Instagram. Your boyfriend or girlfriend who's at home sees the picture and notices that you're next to someone of the opposite sex. As mentioned, I'm simplifying uh, here. And, and they start to imagine, you know, who, who is he hugging or who is she hugging? They must be cheating. Why are they so close to that person? Why, do they, why are they smiling? Why do they look so happy? They must be cheating. So what they do is they start blowing up your phone. They start texting you. Who was that person? Why are you so next to them? Why are you happy? Why are you holding them? Blah, blah, blah. Why did you take a picture with them? And so forth. And eventually, what could happen if you're dealing with a BPD and an MPD, and all of this up to now is probably if they had BPD and MPD, is that they decide, okay, now I need to protect myself. I need to hurt them back. So what they might do is while you're still at that party, they might text an ex, they might call an ex, they maybe start flirting with someone else, you know, maybe they even meet up with an ex. Or maybe they decide to text a friend and they go out on a party while you're still at the, the social gathering where they will flirt with someone else and, you know, things might escalate. And that's a very common way that BPDs and MPDs end up uh, uh, cheating. It's this revenge and the first thing here it's an immature way of dealing with it as i mentioned in the start you know if you get cheated on the correct response is not to cheat back it's a bit more understandable if you want to say but it's still immature but most importantly it's based on a complete imagination and that's what i think is so tragic about bpds and mpds is that so often they end up cheating for no reason they end up cheating to protect themselves 
from nothing. They could have a happy life, happy relationships, but they choose not to. Another big reason that BPDs and MPDs cheat is their constant seek for validation and attention. It's a drug for them. They see the world as competition. They hate people that are more successful, that are better looking, that are smarter, more intelligent, more charismatic than they am. And you will see this in the way they speak, even if they're talking about people that are close to them, like family or close friends. If they feel that those people are better than them, they will belittle them. They will belittle their successes. They will talk about the negative things. They will bring people down. And that's because they are, they are generally jealous of other people. And it's probably because of a sense of insecurity that they have due to childhood trauma or whatever else. So this innate sense of jealousy, this innate sense of looking for attention will bring them to have certain behaviors that are more prone to cheating in the longer term. You know, maybe they will put more provocative pictures on their social media, looking for attention from other people. Maybe they will dress in a certain manner. This is not always an indication of someone being unloyal, but it is certainly increasing the chances, I believe. Um, and things that they might do is, for instance, they might constantly be checking who is liking their pictures. You'll see them open their social media countless times doing that, you know, basically addicted to this. They will entertain people that text them, that flirt with them. And to me, that is basically borderline cheating, not, not borderline in the sense of BPD, but borderline almost cheating. Uh, and I think that the jump from, from that to actual cheating is, is quite small and it's, it's, it's pretty easy if someone has these kind of tendencies. And especially if they have these kind of tendencies and they are angry with you. You know, maybe if we connect reason two to reason one, if they feel the need for revenge and they are already seeking constant attention, well, then the chances for them to cheat are even higher. The third reason I wanted to talk about is the lack of impulse control. MPDs and BPDs, BPDs in particular here, are very emotional people. Their life is a roller coaster and not a fun one. <laughs> you will see this in most aspects of their life, in their job, in their relationships with family and friends. Many areas of their life will be messed up. And this, the cheating, is just another one of them. Because of their lack of emotional control, they can more easily end up cheating. Maybe they drink at a party, they're out of their minds, you know, they're having fun and they end up cheating. So it doesn't always have to be motivated by some thought that they have about, you know, revenge or wanting to be desired or so on. It can also just be the fact that they don't have a very well a very strong emotional regulation. And that brings them to act on their emotions and their emotions in certain moments might be to cheat on you. So it can literally be just the raw unprocessed emotions. I want to quickly reflect on some of the consequences that cheating can have on you. The first thing that might happen is that you might feel the need to reassure your BPD and MPD. So if you see that they're very, very jealous, if you're afraid that they might cheat on you, then what you might do is you might taking, you might decide, okay, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to be cheated on. I don't want them to be feel triggered. Let me make them feel safe. And you'll start isolating yourself from friends. So for instance, if we go back to the example of meeting your friends from work, you might decide, you know what? I don't want to trigger them. I'm not going to go out with these friends anymore. Eventually, you kind of end up isolating yourself and you believe that that is not going to trigger the jealousy or trigger the desire to cheat on the BPD and MPD. But trust me, they will find whatever reason, even the craziest of reasons to, to cheat on you if they want to. And the second thing that you need to be wary of is that you might yourself start behaving out of character. Maybe not cheating, but having desires to do so. If they are mistreating you beyond also cheating on you, then you might have start having thoughts that are not good. They're not mature. They're not moral, ethical thoughts. And if you are at that point, then my advice would be, you know, get out of there before you mess up even more.